Hey, you're probably wondering why there's two half-eaten cookies here. Because that was another video. Not for now. Now, we move on. And what do we move on to? Oh. Well, if you're living in Finland, You know what this is. Come on, I got one more bag. Where is it? Oh, I, I really, I bought one more bag. Yeah, come on, I, I bought another bag. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did not buy another bag. That's unfortunate. But, I didn't want to do this, but I did buy a bag a couple of days ago. So it's an open bag, but we can use it. Maybe that's why I didn't buy it. But anyway. Interesting thing here is that price-wise, identical, identical, like two euros fifteen per kilo, identical per weight, not not per package because these package different. You know, this is uh, you know one kilo and twenty grams, one point three kilos and fifty grams, and same here. Actually, the extra and little one are exact same size and probably exact same price. I don't have the receipt for little because apparently I didn't buy it today. For whatever reason that was. So. Um, yeah, well, okay. Let me explain because I'm sure that there's one viewer watching. I know that there's one guy who's watching my videos, okay? Because every time I put them, Within about 15 minutes, there's one guy who's watching you. Maybe it's a bot, maybe it's a human. So whether you're a bot or you're a human, if you happen not to be, you know, in this area and you don't know what these are, um, I'm not the best to explain it. But I always call them karelam piraka. It's risi piraka, so they're like rice pies. And I think they're originally from the, what, the Karelian region of Finland. They're pretty traditional, and here's the funny thing is, if you come to Finland, no one is going to serve you this. I don't know why it is. You know, I, I got people who've been here for, for ages, and I don't know what the heck this is. I don't know. It's, is it something that people just find so traditional that it's like, you know, like, like if you go to America and somebody offers you a hot dog, it's like, oh, why would we do that? Right? I don't know. Anyway, the, the point is that is this kind of something that that is kind of like the way I see it is, is people don't even think twice about it but here's the thing you come to Finland you're, you're, you're coming here as a tourist you're, you're coming here for whatever you're coming here you know, you got a new job here you're like uh, you know whoever you are just coming for a visit you know what they're going to serve you they're gonna serve you salmiaki. You're gonna eat it, and everyone's gonna laugh at it because you're probably gonna find it disgusting. And if you like it, you're not gonna like it. I mean, maybe you will, but like one in ten, right? Okay. And then, if you do like it, they're gonna be like, "Well, what about this uh, ma mummy? Mummy, right? Mummy, mummy." How do you pronounce mummy? Okay. Easter kind of dessert. And then, you're gonna eat it. You're gonna be polite and be like, ooh, yes, this tastes good. But then they're gonna know you're lying because it seems like half the people here don't like it. You cover it in cream and you eat it. Nobody eats it for the rest of the year. Only Easter. Okay? So there's that. 
And then, if that's not enough, someone's gonna grab some uh, blood and make some blood pies for you. You'll be like, hey, how about this? How about a blood sausage? How about, okay. So you're, you're gonna be here and you're gonna taste all that stuff. But you know, I had a visitor a couple days ago. True story. You can believe it because I said it's true. You know. Um, you know, we had gone, we had, I showed him a lot. And uh, last day I wanted, I just, you know, something quick. And I figured, hey, you should try this, right? The guy said that his entire time here, this was the best meal he's had. And not just, oh, it's better than everything else because everything else is kind of, eh. Man, come on, food here is, can be, can be pretty good. He said that this was the best, he, he wanted to take some with him. It's good, especially when you put that egg butter. Okay, so that's enough of that story. You know, hopefully I've been kind enough to everybody. Point is, these are good. And in my old days, I made a video, maybe it's not, I think it might be on the other channel, of deep frying these. Everyone's gonna be like, what the heck are you doing deep frying them? Try them deep fried, they're, they're good. Deep fried and you put some uh, cottage cheese on it and ooh, hmm. It's a new uh, culinary fusion, if I say so myself. Um, they make good street food, okay. So we've been ranting, or not rant, was that word ranting? No, because I haven't been really been complaining, okay. So, we need to put these on a plate. I'm walking around the kitchen like a madman. Actually, we don't need to put, well, we'll put it on a plate, okay. So, um, we're gonna see the difference. All right, let's do, uh, let's do two of each, right? Let's do two of each. This bag is not too easy to open. At least I don't see an opening thing, so I'll take some scissors and chop that right open. Oh, cool, cool, cool. And we'll grab two of those. And they look uh, pretty much identical to me. You see them on the plate? I don't know if you see them on the plate. So I am kind of questioning at this point if they're coming from the same uh, same source. Now these ones that... Oh, that looks quite good. Yeah, now there is a difference because um, these ones that we got at S Market and the ones that we got at Lidl, they are cocktail. Greasy pig guy. And these are proper, so... You can see right there that there is a big size difference. Size matters, right? And, uh, so, is it fair? I don't know, but we are looking, as always, the whole goal is to get the cheapest from every store. Not, you know, we're not comparing, uh, we're, we're usually trying to compare store brands, but, you know, we're not comparing it with proper brands, you know, non-store brands. Um, with the small ones, you'll get 30 of them because they're smaller. With the big ones, you'll get 12 of them. So, a little bit over half, over twice the size. And I was just curious to see if they're coming from the same place. Um, all I know is, is uh, they are all from Finland, obviously. And, uh, no, I can't, I can't really tell because I think they hide behind something or maybe I'm not looking close enough. Okay, so I'm making some egg butter, proper way to make it, and I'm going to go ahead and cook these at the temperature it says, I think 250? Yeah, about 250. Oh. Um, okay, so we have it in the right order. And I'll be meeting you guys in a bit. Okay, now, man, this room is getting hot. It's the middle of winter. We're burning up because we've been cooking for so, so, so long. But it's going to be worth it. Is it? Yeah, maybe. Let me get some, uh, some butter microwave. You have to try these with egg butter. Okay. 
So I'll just put this tray here directly. The one on the left is little, the one in the middle is S market, and the one on the right is K market. You might say it's not a fair comparison because we're comparing, you know, cocktail size with normal size. But I say it is because we went to the store with the goal of finding the absolute cheapest. And this was the absolute cheapest from all three options. I did not see a cocktail size one in K market that was the same price. begin to mix it and smash it up until you have something that is a mix of hard-boiled egg and butter. If you could hear what I was saying, so... So we have this kind of mix of egg and butter. Some people like putting more butter in it, some people like putting more egg in it. If you ever come to Finland, this is what you need to, to eat. Forget about that salmiaki. This is this is the stuff. This is the good stuff. Probably the best stuff you'll eat here. And we're gonna put a bit of it on there, right? Forgive my technique. It might not even be mixed properly yet, but. We're gonna put some on here, and then Mr. Kitty, there's no egg butter for you. Sorry. Well, the egg butter tastes good, I can tell you that. So let's give these a try. I'm gonna try one without egg butter first. Taste fine. Tastes exactly as it should. No complaints there. We're going to try out the one from S Market. I have to say that it tastes almost identical. And considering the price is identical, between the two, between the S Mark and the Little, just you know, whatever store you're hanging around, get it. And this one I expect is going to be a bit different. This one... Yeah, it's better. And that might just be attributed to the size. It's a bit better, just consider what you're buying them for. If you're buying them for home, you just want them for breakfast or lunch or dinner or whatever. Um, the bigger ones are nicer. A little bit, I don't know. It's, it's almost like it has a little bit more butter in them or something, or some fat or something in there. Well, I might be wrong, but that's what it tastes like. And of course, we'll try them with egg butter. Uh, 
And yeah, quite good. Can try this one out. Hmm. Hey, these things are fantastic. Like, you can't miss. Like, you have to eat these. And then, look. I'm not telling anybody how to eat their things, but if you haven't tried these deep fried, try them. I know some of you have deep fryers. I know they sell deep fryers here. Try, like, get these frozen, dip in them a deep fryer, fryer, put your toppings on them, eat them, and then come back and tell me how you like it. I mean, I know you're not supposed to. I've been told I'm not supposed to. But, you know, the taste is there. Perfect food to deep fry. But generally you will oven bake it. And it tastes pretty good oven baked. Give this last one a bite. So yeah, um, simple as that. If you're buying these, um, these are almost identical. This one's definitely a bit better. That's the one from K Market. They are all by weight, exactly the same price. These ones are bigger, so you'll get less individual pieces. But they're pretty good. And as I said, if you're watching from outside Finland, you have to eat these if you ever get the chance. Because this, in my opinion, is the best food that Finland has to offer. And people don't even realize it. At least, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Something about it that... For whatever reason, I mean, sure you can get your reindeer. Reindeer is pretty good, but anyone who's had deer can say that. Uh, I mean, maybe I'm gonna say something wrong here, but I thought reindeer tastes kind of like deer. At least, uh, you know, it's what it, what it is. This stuff, though, this stuff is special. You get it. And uh, if you don't live in Finland, figure out how to import it, because you got to try it. Okay. That's that for that video, and now on to the next one. Man, my belly's getting full. I'm going to get a bit too fat for this world. Okay, let's continue. Bye-bye.